Welcome to the video on how to make some codfish fritters. Those are those little fritters we'll be making here using codfish. In French we call them acra de morue. It's a beautiful thing. Okay? So here we go. So to do those codfish fritters, or in French we call them acra de morue. The first time I had those, I'm was around maybe five years old and I fall in love with that. I was on vacation in the Guadeloupe Island. Great place to go. Martinique too. I love those Caribbean islands. They're great and their food is amazing. So this is a recipe that's been with me for many many years. Water, flour, bacala, salted codfish here but I let it uh, stand in cold water for one day and I rinse the, I change the water twice to remove all the saltiness and I have a, a mild jalapeno um, that's not a jalapeno habanero pepper I have two garlic cloves here a little bit of scallion you could use chives typically we use chive and a little bit of parsley and some salt okay so first thing to do for those fritters is I'm going to cook my salted cod here I'm going to cut it in pieces and cook it in water for a couple of minutes till it, uh, it can be flaky. Then I'm going to flake it, I'm going to mix it with the flour, all those chopped ingredients and add some water. The water, I'm not sure exactly how much I need to add. I'm going to, as I add it, I'm going to see what texture I have and I go from there. Okay? So here we go. First thing, we're going to cut that bacala here. Uh, this is 170 gram of bacala, uh, 170 gram of flour, uh, same 50-50 the ratio here, so you can't really go wrong. Then after garlic, I put two cloves, but if you want a little bit more, a little less, up to you. If you want to be spicy, you know, you have to see how, how spicy you like it. If you don't want it spicy, prop, just don't put the habanero, okay? Watch with the salt though, because it's salted cut, so it might be a little salted already, we have to test it to make sure it's good and uh, the scallion I have two pieces okay here we go so I cut that in pieces and we're going to blanch it okay so let me show you here you take a piece you should be able to just separate itself okay but there is still some texture here it's not completely soft huh then we're going to strain it remove that here I'm going to dry it on that paper towel here. Each time you dry something from water, from oil, always try to release as much of the oil onto the pan. Huh? You don't need to have that on your paper towel because then you just have that fish setting on water when you actually want to drain it. Little details. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to flake it this way into a bowl. Okay, so now we're going to chop the scallions. Just immerse them finely. Immerse, it's a French word, it means to cut finely slice of vegetable. Okay, so I have that. Oops, right here. I'm going to do my parsley, same way. And we're going to haché, haché the parsley. Haché means chop. One little thing when you chop herbs, you see the motion of my knife is rocking. I'm not crushing, we're rocking. If you crush an herb, you lose the color of it you know and you breaking the fiber this is why they kind of lose their color so make sure you slice into it you rub the knife you don't want to crush it you want to cut it different thing okay i can add that to my 
my cut out here already. The garlic now. If you want to remove a germ, it's very easy. And you cut into it like that. I usually don't remove it, but some people don't digest garlic very well, so it's better to remove a germ in that case. Huh? You just remove it this way. You cut it in half. And then you just pull the germ out. Okay. Okay. Now this same thing we're gonna mince it. Very small. Watch your finger, huh? Okay, this is good enough. Now, my habanero. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm just going to use a third of that habanero. So, it's spicy but not too spicy. To do that here, I'm going to cut very thin string. And then I'm going to cut them again this way. Make sure to wash your hand right after you do that, huh? Don't go and start rubbing your eye because you have a bad surprise that will burn you very badly. Into that. You know what? I like it spicy me, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. You know I love my food spicy. Again, when you start eating that food around five years old, then you develop a good taste for spicy food. Okay. All that is in there. Now to that, I'm going to add my flour. Going to mix it in together, and then I will add the water. Oh, one ingredient I forgot. Who can tell me what it is? Oh. I do that when I'm in my classroom. Anyway, I'm gonna add, I completely forgot, a tiny uh, bit, like half, a, a, a touch of baking powder in there. A touch. I'm gonna add what we call in French, in a point that much in a point of baking powder that's gonna help when they fry to develop a nice volume okay then again we mixed everything together okay I'm going to add my flour now. I'm sorry, I'm going to add the water now. i tell you how much exactly I had after. I know I had 350 millimeter inside here. So I will see what's left over. Now 
Now I see it's too pasty. It's going to be relatively liquid. Huh? Now I'm going to work it. I think I've. You know what? I'm going to add the rest of my water. 350 milliliters of water, that was. Okay, and now I'm going to add one egg. That wasn't in the ingredient earlier, but you need one egg in there and you just beat it up. Okay, so after I mix all that, I'm going to put that into a blender. I'm going to run it quickly. Done. Back into the bowl. Oh yes, that's going to be good. Okay, I'm going to let that set a good hour and then I'll be ready to make my fritters. My acra de morue. Okay, so the butter has been resting for a good hour. Now, I'm going to fry them. All temperature, 350 degrees. Okay? So, you take a little bit in your spoon, bring it here, and let it drip into the oil. Make sure you're close to the oil, huh? so you don't splash yourself or anything like that. And here we go, making those beautiful fritters. Don't put too many at a time huh? or you're going to cool down the temperature of the oil and they take a long time after to cook. You want them nice and brown, you don't want them too crispy. If it's too crispy, they're going to be a little dry. They need to be nice and moist. So, you know, a light golden brown color, this is what you want. So you don't want your oil to be too hot or they will color too fast and the inside won't be cooked. It's very important that it's not doughy inside. It needs to be nice and cooked, okay? So give it a good time. Can shake them around a little bit. Okay, those look good. See? Look at those beautiful things here. I'm gonna take them, put them onto my pepper tower like that. I'm going to do another little batch, okay? So here are your codfish fritter, Arcadio Mori, beautiful thing. You try one. Mmm. Nice. It needs a little bit more salt. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. I'm just going to salt them a little bit here like that. Voilà. Very important ingredient, the salt. Try another one. Yeah. Woo. It's hot. Very good. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know any question. Email me. Happy cooking to you. Thank you.